Hey guys, in this video, we're going to take a look at how you can customize your switch control on the iPhone 15 series. First, let's go back to the home screen by swiping up at the bottom of the screen. From the home screen, tap on settings. Then in the settings page, scroll down and tap on accessibility. Next, go down and tap on switch control from here tap on switch control toggle button at the top to switch it on or turn it off now in here you can also customize switches recipes scanning style switch control mode so let's go into switches in here you can add new switch and then you can choose the source you can also tap on Bluetooth devices so that your phone will search for any uh, Bluetooth devices to connect to a switch control. Next is the recipes. In here, you can choose tap, uh, tap middle of screen, uh, turn pages. So in here, turn pages, uh, tap middle of the screen. You can assign a switch for the new recipe. And you've got turn pages here. Or you can create a new recipe in here. And so that a recipe is a set of specialized actions you can temporarily assign to switches in place uh, in place of your normal actions. Uh, after that, you can go into scanning style and choose the scanning style. We've got auto scanning, manual scanning, single switch, step scanning. Then you've got switch control mode. At the moment, it is set to item mode. You can set it to gliding cursor and head tracking. So item mode sequentially highlights item or groups of items. The gliding cursor allows a point on the screen to be selected using scanning crosshairs. For the head tracking, it uses the camera to track the movement, the movement of your head to control pointer on the screen. So select which uh, control mode that you would like to use. And then we go down to the timing. So you've got uh, auto scanning time. Uh, by default, it is set to one second. You can increase it or decrease the auto st uh, scanning time. After that, you've got the uh, pause on first item. You can turn it on or off. Loops, you can set the loops, the number of loops in here. So it's hide the cursor after each item on the screen has been visited an, a specific number of times. And then you got move repeat. You can tap on the toggle button to turn on or switch off. Move repeat. And here the delay before move next, move to next or previous item is repeated while a switch remains pressed. And then you got long press. You can turn on long press. So you can set the time for the long press. And in here you can also tap on or switch on or switch off pause scanning. After that, you've got tap behavior. You can set the tap behavior to default, auto tap or always tap. Uh, you can then uh, customize the focus item after tap. So in here, focus uh, first item after a tap or the current item uh, after the tap. Next is the keyboard settings. In here, scan same key after tap. You can switch it on or turn it off. Always tap keyboard's key. You can turn it on or off as well and extended predictions. So you can turn on or switch off extended predictions. Next is the switch stabilization. In here, you can set the hold duration. So you can turn on the hold duration and you got the ignore repeat. So ignore repeat, by default it is set to off. You can switch it on and you'll be able to use the ignore repeat feature with your control switch, switch control. And then the next uh, section is the point scanning. So you can uh, set the gliding cursor to single, refine, or precise. You can also change the gliding cursor speed. Next is the head tracking. So you can turn on head tracking in here and then choose which ax uh, action to use. Uh, you can use uh, raise eyebrows, open mouth, smile, uh, st stick out tongue, blink, eye blink, swench nose, uh, pocket lips right, pocket lips left, and twelve, and then you got pointer. So 
a lot of uh, settings in here you can uh, customize for head tracking. Next is the audio section. In here, you can turn on, turn on sound effects or you can switch it off. Uh, for speech, you can turn on speech and then you can change the speech voices, uh, speaking rate, speak item attributes and pose while speaking. Next is the menu items. In here, you can set the menu items top level. So what are the uh, shortcuts to include in the top level? Then you got gestures, you can choose which gestures to you. Then you got device, settings, and then you can uh, tap on which uh, settings to use. And then media controls. Next is the group items. So group items for faster navigation. You can tap on the toggle button to turn on or turn off grouping. Next part is the visual, so you can uh, set the cursor to be large cursor to a large cursor or standard cursor and you can also change the color of the cursor in here Next is the save gestures in here. You can create a new gestures and then tap on save and then You can give your name sweetly and then turn back and lastly is confirm with uh, switch control so you can set the side button here to confirm with uh, switch control and that's it after you can tap on the back key or swipe up to go back to the home screen thank you for watching this video please like and subscribe to my channel for more videos